good day YouTube and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. Today you have the Rhino and we're going to look at a beer. Uh, today's beer is going to be, I think, uh, I think we'll start with uh, this beer. Because in all honesty, it's the beer I have the, the least amount of hope for being spectacular, shall we say? It's not that I have low hopes for the beer in general, it's just everything I've had from these guys has been pretty safe. So I'm expecting not to be offended, but I'm also expecting not to blow my palate away. So we'll start with this. Um, it is from Picard's Peanuts, well, from Ramblin' Road. It's 5% alcohol, it's Ramblin' Road's IPA Unleashed. So, for those of you that have never had anything from Ramblin' Road, it is owned by Picard's Peanuts. Uh, so when you go into the brewery on Swimming Pool Road in, uh, in, well, Simcoe County, well, well Simcoe is what it, it's, it's just outside of Simcoe, it's in, like, Delhi, Simcoe type of thing, but it's on Swimming Pool Road, and you go in, and every time I go in, I spend more money on junk food. I always spend money on peanuts and chocolate and chips, and then I buy a couple beers. Spend a lot of money. Just by buying a couple beers. Okay. So, there we go, it's poured. I don't have the fluorescent right above me turned on today, uh, so I see some shadows I'm going to have to turn on for the next video, but I'm not standing up because I have, I have nothing on below my shirt. So, <laughs> this is the way we're going to be. Um, yeah, beautiful color, nice ruby red. It's not a color I, it's not a, uh, it kind of looks like dirty brass on the camera, or dirty copper if you will almost, but um... It's not a color I expect from uh, from an IPA. It's just a beautiful red color. Off-white head, it faded pretty quickly. Okay, so out of the glass, get a little bit of malt, a little bit of caramel. Out of the can, I almost get like yeah, it's it's almost like cotton candy mixed with uh, with red Kool Aid. That's interesting. Let's try the beer. Cheers. Okay. I don't know why I'm smelling what I'm smelling out of the can, but this little touch of uh, little touch of caramel. Touch of uh, of dirty hoppiness. And a drying emanation of uh, a biscuitiness. So like I thought, this is not an offensive beer at all. It's not an in-your-face beer at all. It's nothing that's going to blow you away. It tastes like an IPA should, at least an English IPA should. Uh, a little bit of that copper coin as well. Uh... But, at the same time, very underwhelming. If you've never had an IPA and you think Alexander Keith's is an IPA, this is a good IPA to go to, because you might be able to drink it without uh, without burdening yourself, without having problems. You should be able to drink this. If, uh, if you love things like Bone Shaker and, uh, and Jutsu and uh, Cat Lady and and uh, Thrust, and Robohop, and, and uh, Cock Puncher, and all that sort of stuff. Not really the beer for you. But if you're into, say, like, uh, Double Trouble's Hops and Robbers, or Old Tomorrow's CPA, and stuff like that, this would be right up your alley, and if you're not into IPAs at all, probably another beer that could be right up your alley, because it would teach you what an IPA should taste like. So out of 10, I'd give this a 6 out of 10. There's nothing wrong with it. I'm actually 
just like every other Ramblin' Road beer, I think they're a solid beer. I don't think they're anything special to, uh, to go out of your way for. But if you're driving through the Delhi area, it's really worth a stop just, just for the snacks and to get some nice beers. They have a lager, a pilsner, uh, a red, a cream ale. Uh, they used to have an export ale. I don't know if they still do or not. I didn't see it when I was there. And they have the IPA. So, I mean, they have they have a couple styles to choose from. None of them are bad. None of them are offensive. If you just want an easy drinking beer that's made locally and you can pick up a whole bunch of other local, uh, local tastes while you're picking this up, great brewery to stop at. So, Ramblin' Roads IPA Unleashed. I'd give it a 6 out of 10. Thank you guys.